Lord, we need your presence. We need your presence. We need your presence. Your presence is what we need tonight in this place. Your presence is what we need tonight in this place. Thank you to fill this place with your grace. Thank you to fill this place with your presence. Holy Spirit, thank you for your presence. Thank you for your healing spirit in this place. Thank you for the restoration in this place. Restoration, restoration. God, our restoration. God, our restoration. God, our restoration. Oh, oh, oh. God, our restoration. God, our restoration. Oh, Lord. God of restoration, God of restoration. Oh, 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 God of restoration, we bless you tonight. We bless you for your presence. We trust on you, Lord. We trust on you. We trust on you. We trust on you, Lord. We trust on you. Mangaraba Shikiribi. Let your name be glorified. Bless this word. Speak to us. Bless this moment. We dedicate to everything, Lord. Come and take control. Control of everything. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. We put our hand together for Jesus. Exodus 29, verse 43. Exodus 29, verse 43. I'll read the name of Jesus. Exodus 29, verse 43. The Bible says, There I will meet with the people of Israel, and it shall be sanctified by my glory. I will consecrate the tent of the meeting and the altar. Aaron also his son will consecrate to serve as priest. I will dwell among the people of Israel. I will be their God. They are showing us the, the image of the, 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 the priest. They were the first priest. They were the son of Aaron. And they were offering sacrifice day or night. They were killing animals. They were doing slaughtering animals for the sin of the people, for their own sin also. And then they were doing day or night. And the God is telling this son of I will be dwelling among Israel when we are sacrificed. In the New Testament, all of us, we are priests. All the Christians, we are priests. We are supposed to offer a sacrifice to the Lord. And they say, when we be sacrifice all this stuff, God will be among his people. He will sanctify by his glory. Where there is no sanctification, God doesn't stand there. Where there is no sanctification, God run. In the Old Testament, they are showing us the image of the son of Aaron, the first priest. When they were going to offer the sacrifice, especially the high priest who was supposed to offer the sacrifice once a year. What was happening, it was a sanctified place. They were putting a shame in the life of the high priest because what will be happening, it was, if you go to the holy, holy place and then sometimes if he was not sanctify himself, he can die there in the holy to holy. And then because no one's supposed to enter the holy, the holy, and then only the high priest and once a year, they're supposed just to pull him. And the way for them to know that the, the high priest is still alive they're supposed to listen to the, the noise of these channels among him. If the noise is that, does it make a noise? mean that he's dead and they just pull him and then they take him out because he didn't sanctify the Lord. The high priest, before he go to the holy of holy, he was offering the offering for himself. He was offering the offering for the people of the Lord. We are so blessed in the New Testament. The Bible says Jesus died for us once. And now, out in the higher place, we can enter the holy of all. We can see God face to face by the sacrifice of Jesus. We don't need to sacrifice for ourselves. We don't need to sacrifice for the people that we are coming to, to pray for. 
But Jesus already done it. If you receive Jesus, he will give us really the true sanctification. Let's go to Joshua 3. Joshua is following the same example the high priests were doing in the Old Testament. Joshua 3, verse 5, from verse 5. Joshua 3, from verse 5. The people of Israel are supposed to cross the Jordan. Then Joshua said to the people, Consecrate yourself, for tomorrow the Lord will be doing wonder among us, among you. And Joshua said to the priest, Take up the ark of the government, pass before the people. So they took the ark of the government and they went before the people. And the Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that I was with Moses, I will be with you. Joshua, after saving Moses, the great man of the Lord, the great man of the Lord, and then he's supposed to do also what Moses say, and he passed through a lot of tests. And one of the tests was to cross Jordan. Jordan was a big river. And then how can they cross? They never boot, they didn't have everything, but they never the name of the Lord. And God is telling Joshua that tomorrow I'll be doing great things. Labon Church, tomorrow, this year, God will be doing many things. But let's not give the enemy the weapon to fight us. Uh, if we don't have something that belongs to the enemy, the enemy cannot touch us. But if we have the staff of the enemy, the enemy will going to come close to us. He's going to fight against us. Joshua is telling them, he say, be ready. He's telling them, be prepared. He's telling them, people of the Lord, tomorrow I'll be doing great stuff in your life. I'll be doing miracle. I'll be doing blessing. I'll be opening the doors, but sanctify yourself. Sanctify yourself. La Bonne Church, God is planning. He started already to do many things in our life for this year, 2022. But he's asking us to sanctify. If it's the door that we need to close, we need to close it. If it's a door that the enemy is going to push us down, you need to close it. Ask yourself and put yourself in the mirror of the Lord. Say, God, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm stealing my tithe. Maybe I'm doing something is not glorify your name. God, come to me and save me. He said, people of Israel, sanctify yourself. Sanctify yourself because tomorrow, 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 I'll be doing great stuff. Tomorrow, You'll be crossing the Jordan. It's a miracle. Miracle is happening. He said to the priest, go around. When the, they, say, they say when the priest, they put just their foot in the Jordan. The Jordan opened his way for the people of Israel to go. It means that as priests, we need to put our foot this year for the miracle to open our family, the miracle to open upon us. But we need to have a white clothes. And the white clothes... We only get it by Jesus Christ. In the same book of Joshua, we saw the people of Israel after winning, crossing Jordan, getting a memorial. They circumcised even the people, the gates. They were singing, doing everything. After the fall of Jericho, after a lot of victory, they arrived to a small place they call Ai. And then the people go and fight. They say, we don't need to send even a lot of people. And they send just a small group of people there to go to fight against I. Let's read Joshua 7, verse 10 to 14. Joshua 7, 10 to 14. The Bible says, The Lord said to Joshua, Get up. Why do you fall in, in your face? Israel has sinned. They have transgressed my government that I command them. They have taken some of the devout things they have stolen and lay put among their own belonging. Therefore, the people of Israel cannot stand before his enemy. Then, turn in the back before your enemy, before they become devoted destruction. I will be no more with you unless you destroy the devout thing among you. Get up, consecrate the people, and say, Consecrate yourself tomorrow, for that say the Lord, God of Israel, they are devout thing in our midst, 
I will miss. O Israel, I cannot stand before your enemy until you take away the devout thing from among you. In the morning, therefore, you shall be brought near by your tribe, and the tribe by the Lord who take shall become near the clan, and the clan will be taken sharp here in the asshole. The asshole will be checked near the man. Then the taken the devout thing shall be burned by fire, and that because we transcend the government of the Lord, because they have done outrage to the Lord. Outrage to the Lord. They are telling us the people of Israel, they go into a small country, aye, they're supposed to fight against them, and then they knew that it would be already a victory over the great nation. They have a victory over Jordan, Jericho, the great people of Jericho, and then they are facing a small army, they're supposed to Destroy a few people, but they went there, they fell. And Joshua was asking God, What you done such thing? God said, No, I didn't do it. I will not be with you because you brought the devout stuff. It means that when they went to Jericho to fight, God told them to consecrate all this stuff to the Lord. But a man by the name of Achan took something that was devoted and put in this house. It was a small stuff. But because there was something that was stolen, God cannot walk with a people who are walking with a darkness. God said, you need to remove. You need to remove whatever is pressing you. You need to remove whatever is stopping you to go forward. You need to remove whatever is stopping you to win your enemy. Look, at the enemy was having a lot of power for Israel because they brought a stolen stuff. God say, I will not st- you cannot stand before your enemy. Sometimes we can do a offer a prayer. We say, in the name of Jesus, I'm destroying you. But no, yeah, there's something among us. Maybe you've stolen something. Maybe there's life that you are living. Maybe you have anger for someone. Someone who say, no, I will not forgive him. He died something worse for me. No, me and him, we were just meet in the tomb. This is a devout thing. We put ourselves the God of this world that you are putting. God say, remove. Because we become the, the description, I will not know more unless you destroy. I will not know more with you. God, you told us you would be the first. We will not be the tail. You, God, you told us you would be the winner. I won't change. God, you told us that this year is a year of conquest. Why are you not conquisting? Why are you not, not taking my territory? God is telling us, remove. After removing, he say, consecrate. It means that we remove whatever is not belonging to God and we consecrate, we give ourselves to the Lord. We say, God, you take me. God, you direct me. God, you are the one who can direct my life. Maybe all the people, they are going to the left side. They are stealing. They are doing bad stuff. They are going. They are buying nice cell from nice car. They are doing everything in your life. You say, I can do it also. They are also, they go also in church. But God is telling us, remove and consecrate the people. Christian, can you have tomorrow? That say the Lord, devote in the midst of Israel. You cannot stand before the enemy. Some battle that we lost is that because we are not consecrated. Because when we are holy, it means that we are lacking the bottle. The enemy can come, touch, but he cannot touch us. But we are inside Jesus Christ. They cannot touch Jesus Christ. Labon Church, God is telling us great thing is coming. Great blessing is coming in our life, but we need to consecrate. To consecrate, maybe God asks you to serve the Lord for many times, for many years. Maybe you are, you say, don't consecrate me that you are giving everything. This table, small table, is consecrated to the church, consecrated to the Lord. We can use it anytime for the church. It means that you are giving yourself to the Lord. You are giving yourself. As far as I give you everything, I give you my time, I give you my mind, I give you my tight, I give you my mind, I give you my end. Some people, they give God, they give, they give just a top. You give your eye, your eyes, by your foot, your end. You are using it for other stuff. But God is asking us tonight, Labon Church, to be consecrated totally to him. Because there are great victory coming. There are great events. There are Jericho we need to cross. There are Jordan. It's, you can flow in Jordan. But when you consecrate to you, yourself, Sometimes you don't even need to, to do the prayer something. If you consecrate to you, you are special for God. You are the instrument that God is using, and God will take you to another level. Let's go to Romans 6. 
verse 19. I'm speaking to a human term. Because your nature is a limitation for just as once present your member as a slave to the impurity and to lawless, leading more to lawless, so present your member as a slave to rightness, leading to the sanctification. One of the ways we need to live to a sanctification, our member need to become like a slave. A slave is a, someone who takes somewhere you want to go. Our member doesn't need to, to direct us. Our eyes, maybe our test, everything we are doing does not to take control of us. We don't need to take authority on us. We need to be our slave. We need to submit Member, I'm submitting to you. I'm giving you everything. I have money. I'm submitting to you. Everything that belongs to me, Father, I'm giving to you. A lady from America, one day, he was supposed to preach the gospel, and then he did have a conference. She was also broken at the same time. And then they put a POP, a plaster, and then she was working with a crutch. She came in the meeting. He said, my leg, you cannot be obstacle for me to preach the gospel. It can be the money, be an obstacle, it can be the time, it can be the movie that you like the same. But I say, submit it, make it to become a slave. A slave, you can take it everywhere you are going. My member, you cannot stop me to serve the Lord. My mind, I don't know, my money, my everything I have is special. You cannot, my work, I cannot become your slave. Everything I have, maybe I'm not getting far, I want to give you everything. Everything I had. I want to give it to you. You need to submit. And Romans, Romans 6 verse 20 say, For we are slaves of sin. We are free regarding rightness. But the fruit we are getting at the time of sin, which no is a shame. For the end of those things is death. But now you have been set free from the sin. Have you become slave for God? Yesterday we were slave. From thing of outside, we are slave for drinking. You are slave to go somewhere else. You are slave for movie. You are slave for everything. Now we are being slave of the Lord, but now you are being set free from the sin and you become slave for God. And the fruit that get lead to sanctification. If you become slave for the Lord, sanctification is a fruit that you need to know. This is the end of eternal life. Your wage, this, the wage of the sin, death, but. The free gift that God is giving is eternal life in Jesus Christ. Yesterday we are living for ourselves. Yesterday we are living for our body. But now when we give your life to Jesus, you become slave to the Lord. And then you, the fruit that you produce is eternal life. We can miss everything, beloved. Let us miss everything. We can miss money. We can leave, I don't know, authority. They can call you by the name. You can have millions of stuff. You can have everything in your life. But if you don't have eternal life, if you don't become slave of Jesus, if your life you don't consecrate, they say there is no eternal life for you and for me. It will be really a blessing. But God wants us to remove the sin and to become slave to the Lord. Romans 15, verse 16. We are speaking about sanctification. I was saying in the beginning that I'll be just doing some exhortation. It will be like a small teaching. And we may continue all this week with the teachers to be coming to Pastor Noe will be coming to the teaching of this certification and um, Dr. Freddy. But some of the points that is written to you very boldly in a way to remember because of the grace given to me, a God, to be a minister of Jesus by the gentle in a priestly service of the gospel of God. In a priestly gospel, Romans 15, verse 16, yes. So that the offering of the gentle may be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In Christ Jesus, I have been reason to be proud in my work in God, for I will not venture to speak anything except Christ as accomplished to me bringing the gentle to the obedient by the word, or by the, the, the power and the sign of wonder, by the powerful spirit of the Lord, so that from Jerusalem to all the way, or Lycaras, I have been fulfilled the ministry of the gospel of Christ, that I make my ambition to preach the gospel, not where Christ already been named, 
lists to build someone foundation, but it has been written. This apostle Paul speaking about the Gentiles, the Gentiles were the people out of Israel, and they didn't know Jesus because Jesus came to die for Israel people, he came to die also for us, and then Apostle Paul make himself to become an apostle of the Gentiles. He said, I wanted to preach Christ where Christ never been preached. I wanted to go to the border. This is an ambition. It's a man of the Lord. He didn't have an airplane. He didn't have anything. He didn't have a car. He was walking by foot and taking some boots sometimes. But he said, I want to preach the gospel where he never been. He reached even Europe. If you can get a, the gospel today in South Africa and all over the world, because of ambition of this man, he said, I want to take Christ to the other nation. To the other nation. Because he saved me. One of the fruit of the motivation, what, is scientific, what Jesus done for us in the cross, we can say that it's, we need to give it to the other people because there is blood, there is medication to remove maybe malaria, to remove COVID, to try, but there is no medication for sin of people are facing outside. The only medication we can give them is the word of the Lord and the blood of Jesus who died for us in the cross. And we will give it to them. We will be changing them. We say, I want to go to the gentle. I want to go to them to preach the gospel for them to be changed. I want to preach the Lord when the Lord never, never been preached before. Because he believed, he believed that the Lord that he was saving is a great God. He believed that the God that Apostle Paul was saving, he is saving for many years. He was a great God. He was a God of miracles. He was a God who can open the way where there is no door. And he made it in the end. The gospel went all over the world. Today, the gospel can go to China. It can go to Japan, Asia, Australia, all over the continent. Even there are some people who didn't get into the gospel. But today, he can be proud that he say, I want to preach Christ. Why? Where? He never been preached before. Before I finish, we ask some few questions. Uh, Hebrew 10, 10 to 13, by that will, Hebrew 10, 10 to 13, by that we have been sanctified to the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once to all. Every priest stands daily in the service. Offering repeatedly the same sacrifice, which can never take away sins. But when Christ had offered for all the time a single sacrifice for the sin, he sat down in the right hand of the Lord, waiting for the time until his enemy should be a footstool in the feet. By a single offering, he has been perfect. To all the time, those who were being sanctified. I'll go until verse 15. The Holy Spirit also bear witness to us after saying, This is the covenant I will make with them. After those days, declare the Lord, I will put my law in their heart and write them in their mind. They are telling us, they are giving us the example of a priest of the Old Testament and the priest of the New Testament, the great priest. They say yesterday the priests were entering, like we were saying in the beginning, offering offering every day in the morning at night. But our God, they say Christ entered once and he went to sit in the right hand of the Lord. And then we can be sanctified. Men on all over the nation can cry upon the Lord. Can call, he can sit and on the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow down and confess that he's great. And then because he done the great job. The great job was done for us in the cross. And then we can be called saint. They can call you saint. You don't need to die for someone to put you in the tomb, tomb and then call you saint. No. As soon as you receive Jesus, he gives you a new clothes. And he tell you, I'm giving you a new clothes. Keep it white. If you sin, you go to him and say, Lord, please, I made a mistake. Clean me. And he doesn't ask you anything. Is asking us to live the life of sanctification, the life that prays us, the life that will make us to be secure, the
the life that will make us to go far in our way. The life, if you don't live in a sanctification, you can have a great life. You can have everything. You can have everything you can have in your life. You are opening a door. Before I finish, I knew a young guy, very energetic. Uh, he did have a feature, a lot of prophets in this life. But most of the time, he was staying with one of my friends somewhere. And then most of the time, people come to the house and say, God called you for a great stuff, but you have a small sin in your life you need to correct. And then the guy was living, continued to live in this sin, going to church, singing, saving. He was not even saving, just going to church Sunday, going to work and get a nice job. He said, I'm getting this young job. I'll be working just for three, six months. And I'll be getting money for Lobola, for the party. Everything was very happy. In the first week of his week, they were just flying, and then they get the accident. They say another airplane, the big one. It never happened in the story. And then they were eaten by another airplane. <laughs> never happened. I don't know what happened. And they found themselves in the old saint, and then they die. They never even saw the bodies. Parents, they are just shocked because the man. They came, they advised him, please change your way. You have a feature, you have everything. La Bonne Church, God is preparing for us to go far this year. He's preparing us to take a territory, but we need to sanctify ourselves. We need to remove whatever is not for us. Like Akan, like the people of Israel, we need to sanctify ourselves because miracle is coming. We don't need to give the enemy a portion of our life to come to destroy we don't need to open a door. The sin is like an opening door in our life. If you open a door, the enemy will come and destroy us. Below, well, God is asking us to run. He's asking us to sanctify ourselves. Let's stand for a few minutes. We want to pray to the Lord. As the choir is coming, uh, we want to keep this atmosphere. We want to pray for ourselves. We want to ask God, God, we want to walk in the sanctification. God, we want to save you. We want to save you. We want to save you. Adonai, we want to save you. El Shaddai, we want to save you. Can someone speak to the Lord? Can someone speak to the Lord? God, come and clean me with your blood. Clean me, clean me with your blood. Clean me. Father, I want to be clean for you. I want to be clean for you. I want to be clean for you. Lord, I want to be clean for you. Rabba, Shaka, Rabba. I want to be totally to you. I want to consecrate to you. My body needs to belong to you. My eyes, my mouth, Father, my thoughts, my money, my pockets need to belong to you. Can someone speak to the Lord? Rama, Kanda, Rabba. Father, we worship you, Lord. Father, we worship you, Lord. Can someone speak to the Lord? Say, God, I'm consecrating myself to you tonight. I'm giving myself, I give myself away. Give myself away. Can someone say, God, I'm giving myself away to you? Thank you for your blood that is cleaning La Bonne Church. Thank you for your blood that is cleaning our family. Thank you for your blood that is cleaning all the members of this church. Thank you for your blood, Father. We are maybe negligent. Maybe we are serving you the way you're not supposed to do. Father, we are coming to you tonight. Can someone speak to the Lord? I want to sanctify myself. In my working place, in my service, in my life, daily life, Father, I want to sanctify. I want to put you in trust. I want to put you face, God. We are talking to you tonight. So you can use me, Lord. 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 Oh, so you can use me, Lord. 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 So, so we are standing like the priest. Coming to save you, Father, clean us with your blood. Remove whatever is not giving glory to your name. Believe is how something is preventing us to go far. Let us be the instrument unto your heart. Father, use us. Father, so we may use me. We bless you. We glorify your name. Let your name be glorified. Let us be our clothes white always. You say you are coming to take your church. But you are coming to take a sanctified church. You are taking to come 
the vision that will be having a wall. The light will be still shining. Father, help us, our light, our candle to shine every day because we are coming to look, to look those who have a shining light. Father, bless our offering, our tithe, everything we are giving you tonight in this place. I'm praying for those who have nothing. Let them have something for next time to give for the advancement of your kingdom. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.